Okay, let's talk about cylinder and piping. Now we have migrated all of our piping features over from the PTC file to the PCG as well. And if you haven't seen these features in action before, I will go ahead and demonstrate them for the webinar. It's going to allow you to derive a center line and diameter from the cylinder, as well as we give you some options for defining a routing line in the case that you want to use it with an intelligent piping design uh, program. So let me jump over to AutoCAD. And this is one of our classic piping examples that we've used before, you may have seen. So I'm just going to uh, work with one pipe. And the process is to select the pipe you're interested in. And clip out. And you can see I've already performed one. So once you have the one pipe you're ready for, then you can select from the menu to fit cylinder. Here. And you let the algorithm run and it best fits. Gives you some information in the command prompt and if you'd like to accept, you hit enter. And you can see that we have a nice fit from the pipe. I'll go back and I'll fit one more cylinder just so you can see a full routing line from at least three pipes. So let me clip out another here. It's a small area. Okay, and I'm just going to fit cylinder again. All right, we have a nice fit there can verify. Okay, so now we have our straight run cylinders and connecting by solids is really simple. I'll show that in a second, but first I want to show how to create a pipeline. In the case that you now want to take these center lines of pipes and create a best adjusted 3D polyline which you can use in any piping design program or export out into another program for use with intelligent pipe design. So let's go to create pipeline and in the command prompt I'll select to go to options and this is where we just want to set up parameters for one pipe in the run to be able to find the next and so since I have my parameters a little bit messed up here uh, this would be a user defined distances from one end of the pipe to the end of another cylinder and we want to create a 3D polyline so I'm going to say OK and the step is to then select one of the cylinders in the run and it finds the others based on the parameters that were set in our options menu. So when ready, we put in F for finish in the command prompt. And what you see is that a best fit 3D polyline has been created. And you can use this for your design work. Now another thing to notice is that the center line of the cylinder is going to vary slightly with the best adjusted 3D polyline. And that is because obviously um, pipes in the real world are not perfectly straight like they are in AutoCAD and so we have to create a best adjusted center line since these two cylinders center lines would not match up perfectly in the real world. Now if we want to connect just by solids, if that's all you're interested in, of course we can do that as well. We can just select each endpoint and form a connection. Okay, pretty simple to do. If I put it in a 3D view, and then I'll turn the cloud back on for you. Excuse me. Go back. Turn on our cloud. And you can see the overlay of the pipe work inside the cloud. Looks good. So I'm going to close out this example now. So we're finished with piping. Okay, back into our slideshow here. Okay, this section I, I, uh, I like to call no scan data, no problem, because it's now possible in Point Cloud Pro 6 to work with only images and draw in 3D. No scan data. So we're going to show you how to draw in 3D with these two oriented images, 
and it's going to utilize classic photogrammetry tools in order to do what's called monoplotting. Monoplotting or dual image drawing. Now there's no special camera required. You can pick up uh, any camera that you like, uh, one that you use on vacation, let's say, and um, this is functionality that's in our new PhotoPlan 3D product. But as Point Cloud Pro users, uh, we've also included the PhotoPlan 3D functionality inside it as well. So let me jump over and open up the example. And let's see. I want to open up our monoplotting. OK. So I've got a split screen here, two different photos. And both of these photos are oriented. Now what that means is that each one of these photos has internal and external parameters for control. The internal parameters control for the camera and lens distortion and the external parameters to give distance and angles on the object being measured. Now, if you only have a camera and these are freehand images that didn't come already oriented from a laser scanner, inside Cubit Point Cloud we do provide the ability for you to orient images manually. And it walks you directly through the process. You can read along with the manual. It's very helpful. We can also uh, help you understand this process a little bit better. But for the sake of time, we're going to assume that uh, these are already finished with the orientation process, and I want to show you 3D drawing, which is photographs. 